Yet another statistical fallacy we need to have a look at is the Texas sharpshooter fallacy. This is a case of assigning meaning to random patterns. The Texas sharpshooter fires his gun into the side of a barn repeatedly and then paints a target around the tightest cluster of bullet holes. The fallacy of the same name is committed when a data set is collected and observations of it are made. A hypothesis is then constructed which is confirmed by a fraction of the data points. Those same data points are then cited as evidence and the rest of the data set is ignored. This is obviously cherry picking, but it's actually worse than that, because at least when we cherry pick, we're not creating the hypothesis to fit the cherry picked data. We just look at the data that support our hypothesis and ignore the rest of the dataset. When we commit the Texas sharpshooter fallacy, we look at the dataset, get an idea for a hypothesis by observing a small part of it, and then cherry pick that small part to support the hypothesis. Fine, you can collect the dataset and then get an idea by looking at it, or even a small part of it. But you then have to collect a new dataset to test your hypothesis, and you have to look at the entire new dataset, not just the fraction of it that happens to support the hypothesis. The Bible and the Quran are apparently full of passages that, when interpreted in the light of modern scientific discoveries, predicted those discoveries. Interesting then that no one said that the universe is expanding until after this was discovered by science. I mean, if it was there in Isaiah 40.22 and about 600 BCE, why did it take another 2500 years before anyone noticed? It's because our sharpshooting Texan only worked out which grouping to paint the target around after all that time had passed. And just like our Texan friend ignores all the shots that missed the target, the apologist ignores the fact that the same verse also explicitly declares that the Earth is a circle, i.e. flat. To support the idea that prayer works, Winston Wu writes, quote, I have found that God doesn't just answer prayer through coincidences, unquote. And later on, quote, Often a prayer is answered with the help of other people who themselves don't know why they're doing what they're doing, unquote. This means that he would interpret getting whatever is prayed for through means clearly identifiable as not divine intervention as evidence of divine intervention. He's counting a miss as a hit by hypothesizing that that's how God did it. In order to determine if an event really is an answered prayer, you have to specify what would count as an answered prayer beforehand. The whole but that's how God did it thing is a blatant Texas sharpshooter fallacy. Until next time, stay logical.